Did you say you wanted to be Walter or Howard? I don't care. Howard. We got Howard here today, and Howard came in a couple of days ago with this really inflamed hot cyst, right? And we started him on some antibiotics. We told him to take him over the weekend. And he did too. Which he did, right? You took him over the weekend? Mm -hmm. I sure did. Where'd you put the cold spray? Ah, it's in your hand. Okay, so we have some cold spray we're going to put on you here. Woo, a little chilly, huh? Just mm -hmm. a little. And that'll make the injection a little bit easier. We're going to give you some numbing medicine. Stick sting and a burn. Gonzo, you missed it again. That's two times in a row. <laughs> That's your job. I know, but you like saying it too. He does. Mm. Got a little sting there, huh? A little overspray too. Oh, he's got to be a critic. Uh, we have Walter's um, lawyer here with him today. <laughs> Trying to make sure we do a good job. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, overspray again. I know. Yeah, I'd rather use too much than not enough. Absolutely. Have you had any fevers or chills or anything? No. Nothing like that, huh? Mm-mm. Good. We're just going to keep kind of adding some of this medicine. This is 1% lidocaine with epinephrine. The epinephrine helps to uh, prevent oh, the bleeding. Don't be all snapping me. Well, uh, yeah, we some can. of us are dedicated professionals, right, Gonzo? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and we came to work even though we're in the midst of a tropical depression. And he appreciates that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make a little incision here. Hopefully, it won't hurt too much. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's a gaffer. Okay. Yeah, she's got a bad sense of humor. I was hoping it would pour it out, but it didn't. Well, you never know. It may still yet. Opened up. You okay? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, my goodness. That bad, huh? If it squirt, oh. watch out, Gonzo. He's a geyser. Did I get somebody in the eye? I hope not. I hope not too. Why are you putting it towards me? Well, I don't want to get it on me. Well, I don't want <laughs> it on me either. Well, it's got to come out somewhere. Well, I guess I'll go home afterwards then. Okay. All right. We've got to start. Definitely a sebaceous cyst here. And we're getting into, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your viewpoint, more of this. Goop. That's the scientific name. Oh, oh, that's awful. What? Cottage juice. You don't want to know. Oh. It's disgusting. I Did imagine. you see that coming out of there? It better not be on my shoes. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see. And it. you're wearing a nice light colored shirt, too. Yeah, I know. It's a good thing it's toward the end of the day. Still got like two more patients to see. Yeah, well. Mm. <clears throat> Told you it didn't hurt. No, not at all. <laughs> all right. Unfortunately, the the pieces, the sack that was in there is all broken apart. Agreed. There isn't a discrete sack, so we're gonna pack this, okay? Okay. So we're gonna put some iodoform gauze in there, some gauze, and just pack this open tonight. You'll come back tomorrow and we'll check it again, okay? Oh, okay. That's you if did, we're open. yeah. That's yeah. if we're open. Um, if not, well, you can sit up and wait for us to come back on <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Patient, uh, we're gonna call him Johnson. Johnson, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Don't look. <laughs> All right, you know we're gonna video you, and you're okay with that, right? Yeah. And you came in today with this thing on the side of your head here. Holy oh, smokes, yeah. that looks awful. Does it hurt? It's painful. And this has been bothering you for how long? Well, four days. All right. Any fevers or chills? No. Nope. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea? Nope. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, numb this for you, and then we're going to drain that and get you on some antibiotics. Okay, dog. Got it? Yep. And you don't care if we video this, do you? No. You're a good man, Johnson. <laughs> Thanks. Just for everybody's knowledge, his name's probably not really Johnson. All right, we're going to hand off the camera to Coconut. And we're going to do something a little bit different to get this numb today. We're going to start off with uh, some lidocaine, some viscous lidocaine, and we're going to put it on a 4x4 four four gauze. And we're this is viscous lidocaine. There it is right there, that's plenty. And that is what we're gonna use for Johnson here. We're gonna put this right on that lesion. It's gonna feel kind of cold, my friend. Okay. You feel it? Yep. We're gonna let that sit there for a few minutes, and about 10 minutes, and 
and uh, we'll come back in and get to work on you. <laughs> Got coconut on the camera here. Good. How's it feeling? Um, you can kind of see okay. in there. There's a lot of look right in there. See that? Right there. Star College. Here comes the cold spray. Perfect. And what does Gonzo say? Stick, sting, and a burn. There it is. Stick, sting, and a burn. Hey, what if we just talked about this? You're not allowed to say it. Oh, only you, is it like your trademark saying? Only yes. you can say it? How you feeling, bud? A little bit pain. Feel a little sting? Yep. But not terrible, right? Nope. You might still feel some more. You got frozen hairs. Better that than pain, I would say. Yep. Good. Let's give that just a second to work. Now, there are going to be people out there that are going to say, I should have trimmed your hair back, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, Doing culture. Okay, take a deep breath. Hopefully, you won't feel any pain here. Ready? Yeah. I'm missing it. Just making an incision. There it is, right there. Let's have the let's have the culture at right inside. Perfect. Hand that off to Gonzo. We all have fun without me. Are you leaving? Yeah. Oh, look what's coming out of there. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. That's some goop coming out. That's nasty. Did you have a spider bite or anything like that on this, you think? I doubt it. I doubt it too, but it sure makes me wonder. Did you have some kind of little cyst here before it got infected? No. Definitely not. I like a patient who's definite in his answers. <laughs> Gonzo, do we have a little uh, a little hemostat? No, you didn't ask for it. Yeah, I don't think we need it. I just wondered if we had it. There's definitely not. I'm, I'm not going to probe this with anything because I can feel all around this. There's no loculation anywhere. All of this infection is out, and you can see where there's some central necrosis. This looks almost like you had a small cyst or maybe a bug bite, maybe a spider bite, can't say. But all the infection looks like it's gone. Now, to be on the safe side, we're still going to put you on some antibiotics to take twice a day for a few days. Okay. And you should do fine. All you're going to have to do is just keep a, try to keep a dressing on this if you can. Okay. But keep it clean. You'll do fine. Just you're brave, man. We're going to get a sticker on the way out. Just the, the swelling was, was really bad. It had like a red line going upward. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if that was from the swelling and then just right. being in the armpit being pinched. Yeah. And can you guys, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, but you've actually got a red streak that's moving up away from this. So you not only have an abscess, you have what we call cellulitis, which is an infection that's traveling under the skin. So we're definitely going to be putting you on some antibiotics today. Um, okay, Gilligan, do you mind if we video your procedure for YouTube and the internet? Oh, please do. We will. And you watch some of our videos, right? Uh, yes, I watched several videos last night when yeah. I was uh, thinking about uh, doing this procedure myself. I was in so really. Much pain. So you were looking for an instruction. Uh, video. Yeah. I <laughs> so what do you think? Did you see? Did you see Gonzo? No, I did not. You did see not him. see Gonzo. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Well, she's here, so you know she, you're you're so seeing her first time. Huh? She's infamous. I, I wouldn't say famous. I would say she's famous. infamous. I'm a wannabe famous. All right. Uh, good. There's the beta dye. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Give us a little One, spray two, there, Gonzalo. There you go. Two. A little stick. Sting. Go ahead. Burn and away. <laughs> you guys are backing off. Sometimes these have a tendency to to surprise us with a little spray. And uh, so Gonzo and Scarlett have both uh, kind Run of hiding away. behind the door over here. <laughs> we need a free escape. Yeah. And you're bleeding a little bit. You allergic to any medicines, my friend? Not that I know of. Oh, that's a good one. That you got a little a sting stick. on there, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So I'm just going to kind of be putting medicine all around this so that uh, we can use a scalpel and open it up and drain it for you. This is a number 11 blade. Do you have a good look at that? Yes. Okay. The number 11 blade is just a tapered, thin, uh, sharp-tipped blade. So, it's, of course, it's sharp with, on the cutting surface, but also has a real sharp tip. This is a really good knife or, or scalpel for opening up something, uh, some kind of abscess. 
it's a, and it's a good all-purpose uh, scalpel as well. So, all right, my friend, are you ready? Yes, sir. Where we're, we're at? Where are you going, Scarlet? They're calling me. They're calling. See ya. All right, so uh, Scarlet left. Well, mwah, mwah, she got a, she got a little break anyway. So we're about ready to make a little incision. Hopefully, you won't feel any pain. Here we go. One, two, three, go. There you go. And let's Gonzo get a culture. Gonzo has a lot of sugar in her today. You have a lot of sugar in you? Mm -hmm. I got them betas. <laughs> Give it a little squeeze here. Well, that's just not a very impressive cyst at all. I thought we'd at least get something. You. If you feel anything, let me know. You should feel a little tugging or pulling. Okay. Because we're not going to feel a thing. That's right. Oh, I see something. Yeah, he had a little, it looks like you might have had a little piece of cyst or something in there. That would really be unusual in this area, though. Or it could have just been uh, some dried uh, material, infection material, dried pus, that kind of thing. So it seems like I occasionally would get, like, in that area, uh, like, you know, a couple times throughout the year where it would be like almost like a like a toothpaste type thing that you could pinch. So I was, anytime no. I messed with it though, I yeah. would get this. No kidding. Yes, sir. So you know. probably did have some kind of little cyst in there. Uh, the problem is now I'm not seeing anything except I just saw a little, a little material that could have been cyst-like material. So we're going to go ahead and just pack this open because it, it has been infected and there was some pus right before I made the incision. It, it, however, is not a super impressive looking, and I don't mean that it's not important, I just mean it's not really telling me, hey, I'm a big cyst or this is a big abscess, but you drain, so we're going to put some packing in it. All right, so I gave you a prescription for some double strength Bactrim. That's the antibiotic I want you to take. Okay. You're going to take it twice a day and go ahead and take them until they're finished. Now, I did give you something for pain you can take this weekend. Okay. I also gave you something for nausea in case you do feel some nausea, either from the antibiotic or the pain medicine. Okay. I think that's Is it going to be, I think let me, so. get it, let me feel here real quick. You're probably right. That may be all it'll take. Oh, I'm not pushing. No, you're doing great. That's good. Let's cut that off right about there. So we've got a little packing in here. We're going to have you leave that in over the weekend. Okay. What we'll do is uh, have you come back on Monday, and we'll pull the packing out, and at that point we'll check it, and if it looks good, we'll probably be able just to put a little dressing on it and send you home. Okay. Okay, any questions? No, sir. That's it. So the packing isn't something that I mess with. It's just no. Kind of leave it alone. You just leave that alone. We're going to put a dressing over it, and when you shower, try not to mess in that area, okay. and uh, we'll take it out on Monday. Stay tuned for the Meta 7 video. In your own words, tell us your experience with Meta 7. Oh my goodness, it, I have a lot more energy, um, a lot more focus. I can go longer throughout the day without getting tired. I love it. I, I, I recommend it to everybody that I know. Do you feel artificial? Do you feel like you've taken a stimulant of some kind when you no. take it? You feel no, natural? Very natural. No I jitter? Feel, no, jittery. very healthy, very natural. Wonderful. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I just reordered a 90-day supply. I have more energy and I'm in a better mood. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it. and. Um, Take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.